Thank you, everybody. Yes. Hope you are all doing well. I don't like Sorfang that much. He feels very, very mid. It's probably Scabs. His body is too cheap. Not to go for it. I like Glim Guardian. You lose to Mana Saber no matter what, though. You beat uh, the Court Puller. Court Puller beats Mana Saber but loses to Glim. The thing is, Tegon is more likely to go Mana Saber than go Glim. So maybe Court Puller is better against Tegon. You should buy it for the first fights because it's so fucking important to do well in your initial fights. So if I went Glim, it would be a coin flip. I would have 50% tie, 50% loss. With Puller, I 100% win. It is he dragons going to tool. Okay. Let's think about it. He lost to Sneed. He lost to Demons. I mean, if he has Gleam, we lose. If he has Misfit, we tie. Could go Bacon Hero Power into Hero Power level. He has Gleam. Show them your wrath. Basically, I want to get uh, Warden for 6 gold, so I want to make sure I win the first fights, win or tie. So that's why I'm going for these lines. Makes sense? So basically, next time I want to get Warden, and then the turn after I want to go level up Hero Power. I want the body ASAP because we have some pretty good bodies in the lobby. I want ETC's body. I want Togwaggle's body. I want Chromie. I want Sneed's body. I don't want my Hev. I want Teron. Thank you, Deepseek, for also gifting us up. I appreciate it. Don't you think they should add some comeback mechanics, considering how punishing it is to lose a fight with bodies? I mean, we have a comeback mechanic, don't we? With uh, the five drop guy. You mean some earlier comeback mechanics? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not a game designer. As a player, it does feel like the body meta is a little bit punishing if you lose your early fights. Right now, what I'm trying to do is like put a lot of focus into understanding the early fights a bit better. For example, a spot like we had earlier. Like, maybe it was game-winning play to stay one more turn on one, because my opponent had a dragon, to win the fight against uh, them rather than lose it, and then get my body on 6 gold in this very important lobby to get your body on 6 gold. You are an impressive one. Even to an aspect. With Tess, I, I think the reason Tess is better than Scabs is because you can control when you get the body, your body a bit better. Like, you're like, okay, do I want Teron's body? Sure, let's do it. Like, now I want Teron's body, but it's too late. Hopefully, if I fight ETC next turn. Next time ETC, I make the guy golden, we go crazy on the money. And like, look, next time I'm gonna get the body, I level up hero power, the curve is super efficient. Why is it super efficient? It's super efficient because we stayed one more turn on one. If I wouldn't stay one more turn on one, this would not be efficient. This would look bad. So I think the early game matters a lot in the body meta, which is not great. I don't think the early game should matter this much, but it is what it is. It's a seasonal mechanic. I think by this time, at least Blizzard should know, most players want quests. Quests historically have been the best and most liked by people as a way to spice up the game. But now if they always spice it up with quests, then people are maybe not going to enjoy quests at some, at some point. So I think it's fine. The way they do it. You are an Crummy. One, even to an aspect. It's a 6-6. Six, six. Security Rooster. A rooster is better from like a power perspective. I don't care about... A duplicate. Let's go for power. Power over dupes. With Chromie, I don't know, we could go demons. Like, I'm open to playing different things as well. I want ETC so I can just make golden Chromie or golden Warden. Not even sure what I would go for. Could I ever go golden Chromie? Or is that a little bit absurd? Is that a little bit too much? What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? I see you set a quick pace.
here, here, here. How do you fare? My body sucks. It doesn't even work. Like it should make the minion golden now, right? <laughs> Picky. I want to fight ETC or Sneed. Wait, is Sneed even good here? I don't really have Death Rattles. Can I get some Death Rattles? I can get the Wolf, play Beast with Sneed Body. I can make Sneed Body golden and play Wolf. Astounding development. Kamzarak is a pretty shitty body. Ah, maybe two of them is good. F it go up? Thoughts on F it go up. Just trying to think who are the cards. I like 3 3 Divine Shield. Am I crazy if I like 3 3 Divine Shield more than a 6 6? I think it's like okay ish. Let's open on the ward then. Maybe opening on the Wyden is correct. Could be. You love the Rooster. I mean, <laughs> Rooster is 8 attack. So it's an equivalent of being an 11-4. That's pretty solid, I would say. Definitely not small and definitely not weak. 11-2? Oh yeah, because he also deals 2 damage. <laughs> yeah, if we're calculating like that, 11-2. For a 2-drop, it's pretty solid. Let's see what secrets we get. Victory seems assured. Hunter secrets. Really good opener against auto defense tactics. Uh, Matrix, sorry, not tactics. Good trade. Woo! We had a twin free to die. Which is really good because now we get Golden Warden. I do working alongside you. Take candle. I am candle. Wow. Obsidian Ravager. Huh. Last warning. Kali? Nala? Wait, Nala is better to buff one dragon, right? Nala has to be better than Kali. Crap. We have too many options. This guy came with the Ravager and with the Kwame. Or maybe no, no, no. Actually, somebody else has the Ravager. Probably ETC has the Ravager. Yeah, ETC has the Ravager and then this guy with his body also got the Ravager himself. But wait, if he got the Ravager himself, shouldn't I also get the Ravager from this guy? Or no, he got it this turn. So if I would play the body next turn, I would get two Ravagers. Shit. Minus 15? Yeah, yeah it's fine, it's fine. We're at 24, we're good. We're good, we're good. How do you fare? We triple the chromie now. I believe you were waiting for this.
Blastomatic is a great mech to have. Don't think we want to heal power, do we? Be sure you have sufficient forces on your side. Wait, we should have picked Battlecry triggered for this guy. I might have messed it up. Yeah, Battlecry trigger was the nuts. Fuck, I don't think about that. The light has left this place. Ready your spells. Mm. Okay. Not sure if normal Nala is good enough here. That was a sight to Tegon's move. body is like really good as well. To buff. Munita is good with Obsidian. I'll make this one disappear. <laughs> That's oddly satisfying. I'm starting to understand your plan. The scourge will consume you. We are nothing without our allies. Come on down! Not even a curse can stop us! Efficient and effective! Not sure if I want to focus on monitor. Second Munita and cut Nala. Mm, I kind of like Nala. But I'm delaying my attacks too much. Something is wrong here. I need to town the Shadowy. Okay, we're gonna cut Shadowy, focus on Nala, cut the Munita probably. And maybe play Double Bramble. I kind of like that. Double Bramble sounds good. And then definitely town the Shadowy. I feel like you're trying to do too many things at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to do too many things. And that's no bueno. That was a sight to behold. This guy is dangerous as fuck. It's like an obsidian. I don't have anything to do with it.
I can taunt Leroy. Nah. I ordered it like this because I didn't know what I was gonna sell and when. Let's open with Bramble, Ravager, Bramble again, and only then Lasomatic. Maybe even Lasomatic super late to take a cleave. Mm, maybe not. It's gonna be a rough fight. I might take 15 here. I see you set a quick pace. The rest of his board is kind of shitty. What I like is that we're attacking multiple times with the mech guy. We're truly farming the mech guy. And we're close to goldening Ravager too. See, so many players already have it. Incredible! Your power outshines all others. This could have worked. Lost stuff. That's like important both on Ravager but also on Shadowy. I like two towns, I don't want to change the format. So let's just play it on the shop. Maybe leveling to look for Mutano's spell is worth it. I want to level two but I don't want to pay too much for it. Maybe next turn. If we win this fight we're gonna get three extra gold as well. I want to triple the Bramble Witch. I want to triple the Shadowy. To triple the Shadowy we need to fight Teron. To triple the Bramble, we can find it in the shop. To triple the Obsidian, we need to fight uh, ETC or Tog and get lucky. It's not looking that bad. It's actually looking rather okay. What does the body do? I sold my body. My body gives me my opponent's bodies. This body, when it dies, it gives its maximum stats to another friendly minion. So it's like a really good body to buff. Mutano's spell does not trigger the death rattles, so you don't want to use it on the shadowy. You want to use it on the picky eater. There's a spell in an undead lobby that eats an undead, and that one could work on this, but I'm not thinking of that either, because there's no undead. Big Bramble Witch, pretty solid in a spot like this. And now we're going to win just because of our size. Size matters, guys. Sometimes. We can triple the guy. Well, things are quite a bit more magical here now. A 
fine start. What a way to get the dupe. Uh, against dragons, Bramble Witch is goated. Bramble Witch is goated against dragons. I'm keeping the demon because it's a great target and it's just stats. But if I get eating spell, I will eat the demon for sure. He's my worst minion currently. So yeah, I'll definitely eat it if I could. Is the eating spell available with no murlocs? Yes. Even though the eating spell looks like a murloc, it's actually Mutanus on the picture. So the spell is available in every single lobby. The murloc spell is the one that um, gives you two random murlocs to your hand. Isn't Mutanus actually a murloc? I don't know. He is whatever he wants to be. There you have it. Best of the best. Isn't Nala my technically worst minion? No. Nala is good. Dude, Bramble Witch <laughs> surviving like a hero. But no time to attack with the Lassomatic. That was a sight to behold, friend. I don't see a reason to hero power here. Let's just chill and do things. Not Teggy Ball. We're growing a little bit. Put the Lasomati here to block the cleave. Do you ever put Ravager earlier? It's early enough as it is. I want to triple the shadowy construct. Do you think there was any chance this guy somehow got himself a construct and we can steal it from him? Too late now, but we can think about it for next turn. Why do you hate Nala, Chad? If I could play it Leroy, I would. I'm not selling her to play a bull or another lasso. Oof, he's gonna Leroy me. Oh, he's not gonna Leroy me, actually. He's not gonna Leroy me. That was funny. The the pro divine shield guy screwed him more than he would think. Incredible. Your power outshines all others. Only the best for you. Now we cut Nala. Come on down. Earth Mother. Shadow is a five. We don't have a target. I like upper hand here. I, am and Executive power. I like every card that has potential to screw over my opponent. I can play Zap and kill his Leroy. I'm not worried about his Leroy. <sighs> the aspects smile on you. Got some lucky attacks, but I don't think it matters. I'm too strong. My Ravager got wasted only because he got the taunt. 
Otherwise, it would be fine. Pay back their opponent? No, I was just better. I love how much it hurts Twitch out to admit that one game I just played really well. I mean, today I'm playing pretty well, pretty tactically. Tactical toilet break. Be right back. <laughs> 